Welcome to Long Arm Wednesday. I'm Laura Lynn of the Mama Pop Quilt Shop and we're very happy to see you here today. We are working on a donated quilt top today from Victoria of Greenwood, Indiana. And thank you very much for the two quilt tops you have donated to us uh, to go wherever they are in need. So that's where they're going to go once they're finished. I'm going to kind of gather a bunch and then send some off. We gather a bunch, send some off. So uh, that's how it's going to work and I promise to let you know where they go in the process. So take a look at this beautiful quilt top that she did. There's a hundred and 50 of these beautiful little squares and it's done in uh, three tones and then the white sashing and I love it I think it would make a fantastic uh, scrappy uh, block idea uh, for, great for busts and scraps you know one one block can be a certain color whatever and as long as you keep the same uh, similar tone for the background so very thank you very much for those Victoria and I'll show you the other one that she has also donated donated in the package is this beautiful one as well check them out they're not small that one was 88 by 62 or something and I didn't measure this one but it looks pretty darn square to me it's probably probably I don't know about 60 or 70 so isn't that beautiful thank you very much for those Victoria and um, that like I said the tops once we uh, we donate the batting we donate obviously the quilting and the backing and uh, they will get to a place in need so yes thank you very much for that okay so we're gonna get quilts in here just to show you what the thread is, is pistachio. And you may not know what pistachio looks like, but that's the thread, that's glide. I like it, it's really nice. It's gonna suit this quilt. So, well it has anyways, cause I've already started. All right, so we got it going on 12 stitches per inch and I'm just doing some fun. I'm gonna call them modern squares. I promise Pop I try not to go too fast. And we're just filling in a certain section. You know, go either two lines or two and a half lines or whatever, but try and fill that in. I kind of go in a little bit over two here sort of thing, but I want to be able to allow to be able to blend in with the, the other rows, right? So you'll see as I come up to the other row that we had ended here, see? And come right up into here link them all together so you never know where I have started or stopped. Just having some fun. Not really thinking about it, no really rhyme or reason on how, uh, which way direction I'm going, how big I'm using leaving the squares, or if I'm crossing back over two or three or five times. Just filling it in with some fun angles and lines and just going from one end to the next making sure I'm kind of blending them in to each other We had a lot of fun on our live stream on the weekends. Got a lot of progress done on both skirts, both tree skirts. So happy to be puttering along on those two. I'm looking forward to, um, we could not forward to Sunday to give it a trimming. And then I, we can talk about how we were gonna add on other sections to make it a bit bigger, but you don't have to. You don't have to make yours bigger or whatever. It's completely up to you. We're just trying to have some fun make it a little personal. to put an edge to edge on this like a you know like a flowers or a feather or anything like that because I really wanted it to be gender neutral 
you know, it would be fine for a boy, would be fine for a girl, would be fine for a teenage boy or girl, and a, an adult male, you know what I mean? It didn't matter, it didn't really matter. So I kind of chose the pistachio thread as well. It seemed very neutral. And I've got a nice, um, almost babyish blue background. And the pistachio thread is gonna show up fantastic on it and add for a whole other like whole quilt idea uh, on the back. So, you know, with two, two arts in one, uh, that's always my favorite thing to do. Don't forget to move because I'm not going like Leadfoot Larry crazy fighter pilot. You know, I can kind of just shift and as I'm going along. And of course, you can quilt this more densely or more loose, like only having a couple of lines per block sort of thing. You know, it's completely up to you. You know, when you get there and it's in front of you, you'll be inspired to, you know, quilt it any way you like, you know. But this is a fantastic idea. I love these little blocks. A little sashing all around them. I don't think I've ever done anything like that before, so. I think it would make a great, uh, Scrappy idea for sure. Hopefully I'm not going too fast. You can see all the pretty threads as it's popping up on the different colors. It's beautifully pieced together. I, I love the colors that are on here. And thank you again very much, Victoria, for that. It's really sweet of you. And they will find good homes. All right, just puttering away. Right, go a little slower there. I thought we were going to get a little tuck or a pucker under there, but we didn't, so thank goodness. Right. We'll just make our way to the other end. And it shouldn't take too long. You know, it is a big quilt. I didn't want to dedicate myself to something really tiny and small. It's going to take a long time to quilt up, so, you know, this should be pretty quick. Maybe just a couple hours. And, uh, and it'll all be finished, and it'll look really cool. Especially with the solid background, all these little curves and straight lines, and you know, some, some of them are a little bit angled and a little wonky. Eh, it don't matter. It'll look all neat from the backside. Just trying to make sure you're filling it in. You don't want any too big gaps, like you know, even half the size of the block sort of thing. You don't really want that. Want to make sure it's all tacked down. I'm just using a poly, uh, uh, you know, one layer poly batting. It's what we have uh, here that we've got for some of the donated quilts. Um, so you know we've. We've already made that investment into a couple of rolls when we did the um, Ronald McDonald House uh, Quilt Bee Canada. So there was a little mark right here, but I did put some Tide to Go on it and it looks a little bit better. And I'll put a little bit more on it and, and see if we can uh, rub it out. Other than that, uh, I really don't think anybody's ever gonna really notice. So it don't matter to me. 
I think it's going to look beautiful. Almost, almost to the other end. Trying to hear my bobbing getting a little low too. You kind of, you, you hear it, it's got that little tinny ting ting sound. And I think I loaded three bobbins for this quilt so that should that should get me through if i just kind of stick to this sort of uh this density in the pattern it should be it should be fine with the three if not i think i got one that's got about half on it of this pistachio i like the pistachio color it really goes with quite a few like when you think about it it would match like creams and burgundies and peaches and all these blues and green tones right here, obviously because it's pistachio, but um, you know, I don't know, I just think it'd be, it's a really neat color. And of course, I'm coming right to the edge because we're going to put white binding on this. Bind it all up. Almost there. Oh, got a stray little pistachio thread. And just make sure you're filling in that last little bit of the gappy bits here. Make sure your row is finished. Of course, I'm going to trim it. So, okay, we'll just stop right there because we're right on the outside. There we go. Perfect. There we go. Then we'll go over it with the small camera so you can see. Isn't it cool? I wonder if it makes a different effect with the light. No, oh, no, not really. There we go. Pretty cool. It turned out really nice. I like the design for this. Uh, it doesn't take away from the shapes of these, these blocks. It really doesn't. It's, it just kind of helps it give a little bit of texture and uh, I don't know, a little pop of color, especially when it comes to this, this white and a little bit onto the blue there uh, or aqua color. So, but yeah, hopefully you'll like it and that's a uh, long our Wednesday. So, uh, and I'll putter it off. I got two, four, six more rows to go. So yeah, keep me out of trouble for at least a little while. <laughs> All right, thanks everybody for watching. Really appreciate the likes and subscribes and the upvotes. And of course, the sharing of the videos really help as well. So thank you and enjoy your Wednesday. And we'll see you on a weekend project where we're going to work on a Christmas star-ish block, uh, half square triangle though. So really easy. So hopefully you can make a few of those. It'll be fun. And we'll see you then. Okay, thanks everybody. Have a great day.